So good afternoon from Bruges, from the Jan Bredel Stadium for our Group D game between France and Denmark. We have the World Cup winners of 1998, the current world champions, against the European champions of 1992. It is uh, the game underway with uh, Denmark's possession. On to the head of Djokaev. Two Frenchmen attack the same ball, and as a result of that, a slip from Destaye. What a chance here for Denmark, and the save is made by Fabian Barthez. And will John Dahl Thomason get a better opening than that throughout the 90 minutes? I doubt it somehow. Although, here they come again, Denmark, uh, to have their second corner kick. But what a chance that was for Thomasson, who should have scored. Of that, there is no question. He probably took it too hurriedly. The tallest of the defenders, but uh, meeting that very badly as well to give Thomasson a chance. And now Sand. Sand with a shot. Bates holds on. Thomasson comes racing in. And it is Denmark who are creating the better openings. Barthez looked as though he was going to struggle to get there the second time around to quell the power of Sam's shot, but he did do. Djokaev. Who for Zidane? Anelka's onside here. Surely number one for France, Anelka. Oh, side netting. Well, how much longer can this go on? Chance after chance after chance is appearing, and nobody is getting a goal. Was he onside? It was a moot point, but he broke. The referee said play on, and Elke went round Schmeichel. They used to play against one another in the English Premier League, but he fired into the side netting with Schoenberg getting across to cover the eventuality. Schmeichel did well not to bring Elke down, actually. Well, this is certainly a game that promises goals, but uh, you wonder when we're going to get one. He's going forward still, and uh, it's into the area for Anelka, and Anelka goes down, Laurent Blanc will steer the ball into the net this time, and France have that goal that has been threatening. Terrible defending by Denmark, France don't care about that, and Laurent Blanc scores for France with less than 16 minutes played. Well, it's some justification for Blanc, the man who missed the World Cup final because he was suspended, the man who scored a goal against Paraguay. Well, there was definitely a player coming back from an offside position, but the referee has taken the view that uh, he was not interfering with play, and Blanc has steered the ball into the Danish net. His last goal was scored against Paraguay in those World Cup finals two years ago. And this is a man, by the way, who was in the French side, beaten by Denmark in the European Championships eight years ago. It's taken him eight years to exact revenge. It's 1-0 France. Now it's Zidane, and again he'll run and he'll shoot. It's a thumping drive by Zinedine Zidane as well. Super try from the Frenchman. The right foot blazed the shot away past Schmeichel. And it had too much bend on it. But he struck it well enough. He scored a goal a week ago against Japan. And he's laid it through. And there might be something for Nielsen here, edge of the area. Not a difficult stop for Barthez to effect from Alan Nielsen, though. A man who has scored seven goals for his country, including one at Euro 96 against Turkey. So, Bo Johansson there, the uh, Swedish coach of Denmark sees his side struggling and up against it here's Henri, kept on side he's up and got it all to do by himself at the moment, it's still Henri and he's just unable to beat the angle even though he beat Schmeichel well, Henri into the area, challenged by Schumber poked it with his right toe past the goalkeeper and Schmeichel is still sitting it out and 
And indeed, that is the interval in the Jan Bredel Stadium in Bruges. Well, the game started frenetically. Laurent Blanc got the one goal of the half, a simple tap-in, really. After a lapse in the Danish defence had allowed him through. And the French, the world champions, have the ace card at the moment. The half-time score here in Bruges, courtesy of that Blanc strike in the 16th minute. France 1, Denmark 0. Tufting on the right boot on Michael Schoenberg on the left here. It's Tufting saved by Bartes and uh, Thomason was following in and couldn't control the football. Well, Fabian Bartes uh, had a problem with this. He's shielding his eyes against the sun. He gets down well to it but can't hold the ball. The ball through the middle this time is for Thierry Henry and uh, an ineffectual finish from. Thierry Henry might have done better with that, took it nicely down off the chest and then a little push with the right boot, prodded the ball wide of the right hand upright, he was onside, no question about that, turned inside Henriksen, but a poor finish. Deschamps to Petit, the game really does need a goal to lift it now, and Henri who looked to set something up here. Anelka's across the other side of the area, here comes Anelka! And Nicholas Anelka plants the header wide, but a lovely delivery from Thierry Henry. And Anelka, who has only ever scored one goal with his head, strangely enough, a recent one for Real Madrid, met it on the full and put it wide of Schmeichel's left-hand post. Maybe the French can show how it's done, Henry away down the left, Anelka's across the middle, Henry might try and do it all by himself, it's Thierry Henry! And it's a super goal! France may well be home and dry now. The glum expression on the face of Peter Schmeichel says it all. It's a French celebration for a classic counter-strike from Thierry Henry. Lovely ball chipped into his path there. He set off from the halfway line and he took it in his stride. Right foot, left foot, it doesn't matter to Henri. And the ball is struck by Schmeichel into the corner of the Danish net. And France have the two-goal cushion that their football deserves. Well, he scored in the 5-1 romp against Morocco last week. He scores again today on 65 minutes. And with only 25 minutes left, surely Henri's goal is good enough for the world champions. Well, the Danes have had no answer to France today. And Zinedine Zidane is onside. He'll push it through here for Viltord. Couldn't get past Schmeichel. And then Zinedine Zidane hammers it into the top deck of the stand behind the Danish goal. But there's certainly no chance that uh, France have had the greatest share of opportunities here. And that one came straight from the Bartes clearance. Viltord into the area. Couldn't get past Schmeichel, though. Henri can find himself one-on-one -on -one here uh, against Schoenberg. Two Frenchmen uh, in support of him. It's uh, back for Zidane, and Zidane lets fly, and the punch by Schmeichel keeps the ball out. Always willing to have a go at goals in it in Zidane and looking to add to his 14 international goals. Schmeichel alert. So Grafsen and Jürgensen. Loses it, Viltord. French might just look for one extra goal, and Vieira is given onside. He's got Viltord across here, and Sylvain Viltord has made it 3 0 for France. The Danes are really caught asunder and cannot believe it. <laughs> He's happy, he isn't. He is the coach, Roger Lemaire. And uh, no protest, but it did look to me as though there might well have been an offside there. Well, just look at Viltord, he's yards offside. Vieira wasn't, but the referee has decided that Viltord is not interfering with play. Patrick Vieira looks up, Viltord strokes it with the instep past Michael's right hand, and France have got a 3-0 success, which always sounds somehow better than 2-0. And Sylvain Viltord... The goal scorer last week in the international against Morocco is a scorer again today in time added. 
And uh, I'll tell you what, he'll be enjoying his rap music tonight. As soon as he leaves the stadium, he puts the headphones on. He doesn't like talking to the media. 3-0 France, and that is the final whistle, and that is the final score. So Viltord really put the icing on the cake after the previous goals had been scored by Laurent Blanc on 16 minutes and Thierry Henry, the best of the three, on 64. It's a happy day for France, not so much for the Danes, though. It's the perfect start to a Euro 96 campaign for the world champions. The Danes are still protesting, and I'm not surprised about that third goal, because to me there was no question that Viltord was yards offside and had to be interfering with play, really. So there you go, the final score. A happy one if you're French. France 3, Denmark nil in Bruges.